Well, Delita loves to celebrate, especially when someone or something hits a birthday milestone like the 100th anniversary of Toledo Fire Station 18, now the Toledo Firefighters Museum. TFRD public educator Dennis Kakuthi is here with Private Sterling Ray with how you can be part of this weekend's celebration. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Hi, good morning. Well, good. I can't imagine 100 years ago how different things were for folks who were fighting fires here in the city. There was a steamer engine in there originally. Mm -hmm. It was pulled by horses, you know. Wow. So, well, at that time, it was mechanized. There was a, like a semi that would back into it, mm -hmm. the old engine type things, but it was still a steamer. Wow. So on March 1st, uh, 1920, it opened as 18th Fire Station. Had uh, 15 firefighters there. Uh, the back of the fire station, there was a police substation. Mm -hmm. And I just found out it was seven. It was out of 17th District, mm. ah. and it was, but it was a substation, so people could come do reports or whatever they needed to do. It closed in 1975, and as Toledo got bigger and uh, the 18th moved out to Lewis Avenue, and in 1984, it became our building for our fire museum. Mm -hmm. So it's an absolute wonderful facility. We have our first fire engine from nine, or 1837. Wow. There, and it was hand-drawn. You had to pull this by, <laughs> people had to pull it. Sure, by yourself. sure. And we do a lot of things there. It's an, it's an amazing place. Um, if you've never been there, even if you've been there, to go back, you end up finding something new. Hmm. You know, we've been in the fire service for 20, 25, 28 years, and, and um, every time I go in there, I find something new. So uh, we're, we're asking the public to come out this Sunday and join us and celebrate the 100 year anniversary and, and take a tour. Uh, we'll have some volunteers, some of our retirees will be there. Uh, Dennis and I will be there if, along with some other folks. And, and current firefighters. Yep, mm -hmm. current firefighters, and we want to show off the museum again and, and get right. some people interested in it. So you guys have been doing this over 20 years, right? So you've probably seen some changes oh, as definitely. well. Oh, right? absolutely. Definitely. From uh, the size of our ladder trucks. <laughs> yes. our, we have a ladder truck there that if you put that ladder truck next to our current ones mm -hmm. today, it looks like you could load it onto that <laughs> fire truck. It just dwarfs Tw it. Tiny, you right? Know, <laughs> we go from the, like a, uh, a Model T mm -hmm. type of fire engine, mm -hmm. you know, cheap would ride in. Uh, it, it's just amazing. If you if you have somebody you know of in the fire service, you could go back there and look mm -hmm. up runs they were on or the wow. time frames they were there. We could get you the dates for your when your grandfather or whoever got that's hired really and, cool. and look at that yeah. stuff. So that's really cool. Nice. Yeah. So that's happening. And for folks who haven't been to the museum, mm -hmm. where is it located? 918 Sylvania Avenue. It's uh, almost kitty corner from Mancy's. It's at the Five Point area, mm -hmm. uh, and Rudy's is right there. So we, we mark that by landmarks that way, you know. So that's where uh, people know things are. Yeah, I yeah. get it. Yeah, and they're very supportive of us, and it's a, a nice neighborhood association mm -hmm. there. And and we also have drawings of drawings of an expansion that we're really thinking about doing. Mm -hmm. So where we can have business meetings, uh, groups can come in and have their meetings and have our smart technology and. Mm -hmm. People like to take their meetings on the road sure. today, you know, and it's a lot of fun to do that. So yeah, we'll be there Sunday, this Sunday, mm -hmm. from one to four. Mm -hmm. um, the museum will be open again for for, for some tours. Uh, the library will be open upstairs. We can show you some of our uh, some of the areas we use for fire prevention, Jed's room, and mm -hmm. so forth. So there's a, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to see. We have an interactive room there where we train kids and seniors right. about you know how to get how out to get of smoke out. and whatever. And it's a lot of fun. So there'll be people up there giving those demonstrations. Too. So come out and celebrate with mm -hmm. these fine gentlemen here on Sunday, one to four, you said, right. um, at the station there on Sylvania. You know, by Mancy's and by Rudy's, right? right? There you go. Exactly. <laughs> That's Perfect. how you know yes, where it is, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. All right, guys. Well, thanks, thanks for, for having coming. us and today. Thanks for what you guys do okay. every day. We appreciate it. You're Thank welcome. you. Well, so